Hey guys, welcome back. This is Two Chairs Instruments. We build musical instruments the modern way. We use CAD, we use CAM, we use Fusion 360, we use CNC, we use other three letter things. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we are working on the violin still, and uh, we're going to do two things today. We are going to finish modeling the neck, which is. Uh, I'm not going to do another one of those huge videos that I did for the modeling the back and the top. But if you want to see that, comment, like, share, and tell me so, and I will do it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna walk you through the process that I used to model the neck, and then we are going to post-process some G-code for the corner blocks. We're gonna go out to the machine, cut those, and glue those into the mold. So that should be pretty interesting. We get to do work on the computer. We get to work inside where it's warm and nice. It is winter and a little cold out in the shop. As you can see, I'm nice and bundled up here but we also get to go out in the shop and do some work not just sit on the computer all day which would drive me crazy so here we go okay here we go so remember we drew that profile of the scroll and I've and I've just uh, done a little bit more work to draw some extra lines here um, so we've got this at the angle that the neck is supposed to be set at um, I've drawn out the area of where the dovetail is going to be. Um, I've drawn a few lines here that we're going to use to create uh, planes that we'll use to um, loft the shapes up in there. Um, so once you've drawn, the, drawn these profiles, the next step is kind of to draw the contours that you're going to loft between. The first thing I did is I drew this heel. Pretty simple feature there. Um, we're going to actually go back in time, which is nice. We have this timeline here in Fusion, and we can go back and modify that back plate to match this, even though we've drawn this afterwards, which is kind of cool. So then I have this. This is the angle that the heel block is going to be on. I have the first neck contour here, the second neck contour here, this intermediate contour. This is just uh, to give me these um, lines that we're going to use as rails when we loft through. Scroll heel, so this contour right there. And then it gets a little bit fancy up in here. So you can see I've drawn on the scroll heel, I've drawn out the layers for each one of the scroll. I've uh, taken the um, fit point spline tool and created a spline that um, is the contour of the scroll and then I've moved that up through these crosses that I've made here and that's just a process of just like everything else you can see actually it's not even perfect but this is just a reference it doesn't have to be totally perfect but so there we go those are all of the contours that we'll use to create this shape okay so from this point what we do is is basically the same thing we used to uh, create the form for the back and the top. So first thing I did was just create a loft between this first contour and the second contour and the second contour and the third contour. Merge the edges. You can see I created a crease here. Um, I lofted out this piece here and merged that together. And then I had this contour here. Then you just do the same thing again, loft between here and here. Um, join the edges together, merge the edges together. And then I did the same thing here and here. So when I went to create this face for the uh, for the scroll here, I did uh, the same thing we did when we created the top. So I just created a face and I pulled it out and then I moved it a little bit at a time and I just moved that um, into the shape of this scroll. Um, so I just, you know, I would select this and move it up and down and and, uh, and around until I got this shape. The, the key important part here is just like when we were doing that top is that you overlap the line. So we're trying to make overlapping faces here. So now that we have that one, we can um, just simply extrude this face across here, which creates the top of the neck. Um, we just extrude the scroll. Now there's one little change here. So I, I did uh, insert edges and insert some edges so that I can move this line to create that little flute in the, the top. So I'm just doing half of the neck here. Um, but there's no need to do the whole thing because we're just going to mirror it across. Okay, that was just the 
cylinder and then this. And then from this point, um, all you're doing is the same thing we did for the top, is just trimming out um, these edges and trying to create a solid watertight form. So finish form, you bring those all into patch and you start patching them all together. And once I finish form, this is all my patchwork here. Um, I'll just fast forward to the end. And that's what we get. So if I get rid of these sketches. Um, I did do one other thing for the peg box here, and that's just I created a shape that was based off of this contour here, and I just um, created that block that I extruded, and I just um, down and did use the combine tool to cut that out of there. So that's the neck. I'll probably cut a test piece just to figure out what kind of fixturing we're going to need to be able to do this. But that is the scroll. So let's move on to those corner blocks. We've got our mold here. What we're going to be doing is cutting corner blocks for this mold. So I've got these pieces here. We're going to mount them in the CNC machine and we're going to cut out some blocks. Here. I've got my high glue heated up here. Um, we got this going pretty good. It looks like we're in a good viscosity for the high glue. I've got my mold set up here. We're just gonna put a tiny dab of high glue on each one of these, clamp them in, and get them set so that they hold onto the mold. <music> glued into the mold that was really easy to do. Working with the high glue has been just fantastic. I, I really enjoy working with these materials and uh, we will catch you next time. Please like, please subscribe, um, please comment and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to ask me. Um, I love all your questions and we will catch you next time. We are going to be bending the sides and gluing the sides and finishing up the garland on this and uh, it's going to be great to see this thing finally start to take shape. So catch you next time. Thank you.